drop off the face of the earth. No, I had to. Go, I had to go into the F5 view so I could find out where the hole was. Because, like, <laughs> from my. <laughs> 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 Please, you have a job. Yeah. What kind of job? A job. You know, it's just like kind of a job. The job where you like just have a job. He works at the place of sheep. Well, oh, technically, he... we do sell a lot of that good good. That do you sell like meat. wool or something? Mm, maybe. I mean, I'm sure you do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, in some, in some way, we do. What do you do with the sheep, though? Um, we usually um. Softly stroke them, give them the what? attention they need, wrap them up. I don't know nice how close I am to you, I've got to move on. Do you kill them? Tight. Do you just kill them? Mm. My entire screen is your face. Then you set them up, make them look real nice. Then the people come in. Oh, the people love them so much. Oh, they love them. Oh, some people come in just for those sheep. Nothing. I have a sheep head. Oh, they're good. By the way, if you couldn't tell, I work at a food store. We sell sheep and other meats and like just oh. general groceries. Uh, just yeah, in case yeah, that yeah. wasn't obvious. Let me go to Australia and go to Moses <laughs> shop and just meet him. <laughs> How's Australia? How's Australia? How's Australia? Yeah. Oh, there's kangaroos. It's not on fire, we don't which have is a them plus. As pets and we don't box with them. No! Yeah, what are you doing? Of course we do! What part of Australia are you in? Surely you know about the job. I was lying! I didn't want him to know! Oh, fuck. I, I, I no. can hear you, no. I, that's a thing, I can hear you. Uh, do we tell him about the drop bears now or later? I'd say we save it for later. Fuck. Can't give away all our secrets yet. Truth, mate. Can't. Can't give away what secrets? Uh, what? Nothing about the drop the bears. They the don't shop. exist. It's fine, you can tell me. Are you sure you're mentally prepared to know about the drop bears? I am prepared no. to. No, 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 you're not Australian enough. The it's too Australian much for your international brain. He's Australian too. Oh, fuck, he is. Okay, hey, I need to talk to you privately. Post? What do we do, boys? Hmm. By the way, don't question this uh, Discord server. Don't scroll up in general chat. Woofadup. Woofadup. Play Harry Potter Puppet Pals The Mysterious Ticking <laughs> Noise. Yes. The Mysterious Ticking Noise. This way. Snipe. Snipe. Savarus. Snipe. 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 Oh no, I recognize Savarus this. Snipe. What have you done? Oh no! Okay, anyway, what did we come here to do again? So what are we telling him? We need to decide whether or not he's ready to know about the drop bears and what breed of wallaby we take to school. Wait, do we tell him? about the difference between our casual wallaby and our professional wallaby. And also- I think we only tell him about the professional one. Do we tell him about the school scorpions? The school scorpions. Yeah. I would say so though. I guess my life is on the line. What do you mean your life is on the line? It your life isn't on the line? I mean, Blaze is, because I'm calling him. Apparently I'm getting called by Cole. Cole! Cole wants to call me, you can't see that. Hello, why are you calling? Because I needed to oh, complete look, a joke, thank on. you. Okay. Okay then. Hey, I'm gonna go call Blaze. <gasps> Wait, I'm being called. Call Cole. Hi. Shut yeah, the you, fuck you, your mouth. What? <laughs> um, <laughs> this is for um, Playing Hot wanted me to call you as a as a troll. So yeah, you're on stream and you know, just for fun. How's it going? Subscribe to me on YouTube and follow Twitch.tv. No, you're not allowed to vlog. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm muting everyone but Fine, Rhythm and I'm going to call them and just play Snape's name's never a Snape. Why? Hello? I thought I was calling, so I thought I'd just give you a quick message. Oh, hi. How's it going? I can hear this, yes. What is that mysterious ticking noise? What the heck is this? Can you 
I was not put on hold. No, he's playing something. What are you playing? No, get rid of that. That is terrible. Ah, Cole, I demand the pickaxe back. Why? Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, you don't have a use for it anymore. <laughs> You Evil cackling commit the contract. Blaze, read the last page on the contract. Can you let me have a look at the contract, please, Blaze? I am no. the official contract adjudicator, adjudicator no, that here. No, is not. No, no. Blaze, where is the contract? He is an impartial party. Let him. Hold on. Blaze, if you do not hand over the contract within 30 seconds, then you're no, in dude, direct violation. I'm... No, this is. That is not. Wait, there's. Wait, there's more pages! Blaze, hand over uh... the contract. Uh. Blaze? What the frick is this? <laughs> I told you to hand over the contract. <laughs> I gave you 30 well, seconds. You did. Work. What the frick is that extra pages scam that I did not see? Well, you agreed Blaze, to the entire hand contract. Hand over the book. And that it was by your works. assessment. Blaze, this is no longer a request. We need That's an impartial adjudicator works. to review. That is not how this works. Oh, um, I assure hey, you, but 100% is. That I have. This is how it's working and how it has been working. No, I didn't. Now hand it over. Back right now! What are you gonna do? I own it. Okay. Alright, hello. Here be the contract. I would like to watch you read it through thoroughly on stream, so give us one moment to get it over. Because I need to make sure that you read everything. Pickaxe terms. <laughs> Longer editable. You agree upon all that? Yes, of There's no sneaky bits and pieces? Depends on how you define it. Cool. Blaze, if you yes. hand over the book, then there's a chance that I can return your pickaxe to you. He just needs to review it and make sure that the terms are in order. Because I could have made an error and the pickaxe <laughs> would be not yours. That's works. No, yeah. The reading said, is in session. What you said at the this end there... This book is in recognition of temporary exchange of one, one diamond pickaxe. The terms and conditions upon this exchange are as follows. Upon due usage of the tool for Don't the required resource... Don't make fun of my spelling. Bro, the pickaxe is to be. Wait, okay, I misread that. The pickaxe is to be returned in a condition pertaining to no less durability no, no, don't read the, the amount required to obtain the materials. If such a time. Just shush, read it in your head. Read it aloud. It needs to be heard the by all. CCCP. Um, Please tell me, Mr. Casually, in what is the CCCP referring to? Uh, myself, as I have custom set up a government under which. This contract was yeah, signed. Um, Casually, stand still. Says, Greetings. It is weird so, looking at my own head. Did you create your own government to make this book valid? Nope. Well, not officially recognized, I argue that I don't, the CCCP, I didn't even know such of which I have registered, <laughs> I is still valid. I, as that's not, not only do we have supporters, but we have <sighs> an abusive power who only ah, operates cold. under capitalism and does not accept other means of government, which I think is illegal and therefore makes the CCCP valid. Okay, you are going to go have to give me two minutes to evaluate my decision. Very well. Um, Read what, page can I 33. I, su I support the CCP. Mm. I the CCP okay, is valid I, I'm, I'm, and I'm not the CCP. Like a court area now. <laughs> oh, are we doing the court today? Oh. court area. Wait, we're doing... We're so suddenly, <laughs> when it affects you, we're doing the court. Well, no, we're doing it. This is a separate court case now. Interesting. You have made another court case, you scammer. Order in the court. Look, Wait, no, the, this is not an official court. Wait, no. We need I proper court. I evaluated my decision. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh I, yes. I accept the CCCP as a legal Don't reference you. towards this document. No. Playing that is not how the, this works. I am now going to continue reading this document. No, Everybody, not. silence. You silence. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Casually, which is the page in which you oh, cite no. as the yes, part do. that Mr. Blaze did not read? Well, it's not that he didn't read it. I would just like yeah. to make this clear before I say. It's not that he didn't read it. I specifically stated in the contract that to sign it, you need to acknowledge to all terms of the contract. But, in such an instance, assuming that he played by the rules of the contract mm, and scammer. did read it, the specific part that I would like to highlight is located on page 33 of 50. Page 33. Of this 50? Book, there is no 50 this pages. This book has 33 pages. Oh, well, I guess when it was signed, the other 50 pages got cut off. That is interesting. Well, 
Page 33 of 33 I didn't states. Even look at it, so also, page is not I am the owner of the pickaxe now lol. <laughs> <laughs> and if I return to the first page of this contract. <laughs> wait, what? did you agree upon this contract? I agreed upon the contract without reading the entire thing, yeah. Therefore, you're in breach of contract, which defaults Except the pickaxe into my the, ownership. The, the, the pickaxe, the, the <laughs> fact that the pickaxe is all yours does not work because of everything said in the previous thing, such as like, I have to, you have to you back whenever team? I demand. Well, you agreed to my terms and you had an option but to edit them. Everything in the, in like the first whatever, like 10 You pages. had the opportunity Mr. Blade, to Where is your spatial them. location? You had uh, the opportunity the to read place. through and edit the entire contract, at which point I would review it. You made no revisions whatsoever. Mr. Blaze, Did I am momentarily returning to you this contract so that you can have a look over it and find anything that you may use in your defense. Judge, may I address the panel? The contract is down on the floor. I repeat, there... Judge, may I address the Did panel? Did you take it? Did you take it? Yes, um... Mr. Casually, you may. Please, please, I'll be. I, I asked for yeah. order oh, and yeah. silence Before in the court. I actually, like, properly signed it. Did you actually um take the book back temporarily and add the final? Page? No, you specifically asked me, and unfortunately, wait, there may be vods. Can we? I request. Yes. Has there been a vod save? Yeah, there has been a vod save. I shall review. Look at it now. Let me let me review the vod. Blazer's pickaxe debate. It is on this day that I've been gathered here to refer and review this pickaxe debate. If you cannot find it um, in the VOD, you have no defense. 33 pages when I originally reviewed it. When you Please tell it. me the location of this VOD. Uh, 213. Upon inspection of the video, yes. I, have, I have decided that the party of Casually is fully within his rights to keep the pickaxe. Your Honor, may I have the floor? Yes, you may. I think up until this point, things have been quite informal, is one way to put it. I'd like to present that we mm. restart the trial in a more formal manner. Accepted. It has come to my attention, however, that there has been a professional court built somewhere in the server. Oh, Blaze, Dumpy's base. Do you know the location of this court? Um, yes. I do. Yeah, down the bottom yeah. of the base. Down the bottom of this base here? Yes. So Mr. Casually, it would be within your ability to go and create me a book and quill. Uh, may chance. I that would be greatly appreciated. Okay. That. Judge? Yes. Book and quill has been obtained. The Does court will start ticket? in approximately five minutes. I would highly recommend that both parties decide on who their representatives will be. Demi, may I please remind you that any assault in this court is justifiable by death. Die. Is justifiable by death? Like, oh yeah, it's fine. As long as you kill the bloke, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Mr. Hyperion Blaze. Yes. Who will be your representative? Um, it, it can be you if you so desire. Uh, who wants to be my representative? Nemi? Chippy? These guys are good people, yeah. Do you wish for Nemi to be your representative? Yes, yes. Yes, Nemi could be my representative, and and Chippy potentially as well. Yeah, that that I feel okay. like that, that would work. Nemi, do you agree to be Blazer's representative? Okay. Now, Mr. Casually, who do you wish to represent you? Within the bounds of this court case, I will be okay. representing myself today. That is allowed. Uh, before court continues, I'd like to make a quick request. Oh. Yes. Um, I believe the conditions that we're in, due to an oversight in engineering by factor of we are outside. Um, the current conditions that have befelt us are unsatisfactory, so I was hoping to edit the current conditions to be in the day. Permission granted. Very well. I shall return shortly. I would also request that someone okay. remove these chickens. Okay, the court is Continue. now in session. I would like to start this court by analysing over the events that happened. Now, Mr. Blaze, would you do the kindness of handing me the document? I might. I might. Okay. Now, this is a document originally written by Subject B, X Casually. This details the borrowing of a pickaxe and the terms. Did both parties agree to this? Yes. Yes. Okay, mm. good. Party number A, Hyperion Blaze, mm, and yes. your representative Nemi. May you explain your dissatisfaction with this arrangement? I believe that... You are not the representative. I don't get to speak. No. Nemi, you may speak. Right. I didn't realise that was the case, in, in which case I would like to be my own representative. I, I will allow care. it. Thank you. Do you object? For, no. I, for I was not aware that it was only the representative that gets to speak. Okay. Is now, what up? is your dissatisfaction? My dissatisfaction includes subject B casually 
having used the booklet as a scam in an attempt to illegally take hold of the pickaxe that was rightfully mine as I gave it to him to borrow to mine some diamonds and he wrote a book that wrote at the final page that was missed by myself um, that the pickaxe is owned by him whereas earlier in the book everything stated completely goes against what was said on page 33 and therefore page 33 is irrelevant and whenever demanded the pickaxe must be returned to my possession. Now, Mr. Casually, do you have anything in your defense? Well, particularly, I'd like to first of all outline that the terms in the contract... We have an objection. You may proceed with your objection. What is it? I didn't realize he was part of the court case. I didn't realize the jury could object. Did you not read the fine print? Yes. Um, I believe that we could ignore that request as this is what the court case is about. May I continue? Mm -hmm. Now, before you continue, Mr. Casually, I would like to confirm that this fine print is a majority of your defense, is it not? Well, particularly, it's what the issue was raised about, so it's the only thing But will this defend. objection be answered in your defense? Um, I don't know. It depends okay, well, on the Okay, you answer. may proceed. All right, anyway, this is what the court case is about. Henceforth, I shall continue. So particular arguments that were outlined by I request hmm. that you stop ringing that bell I concur thank you so could you outline what Blaze said because truly and honestly um due to the background disruptions uh, it seems that my memory has lapsed would you like me to outline what Blaze said or would you like Blaze to do it you okay so as of my understanding Blaze says that he is dissatisfied with the fine print of this contract as which you were being deceptive with the terms I recall as by leaving something on the last page thank you for the clarification okay so before you continue blaze was that an accurate retelling moderately so okay okay you may proceed so he particularly said and we acknowledge at this point that uh clause was included on page 33 of the book um that is the debate that we have one of the major arguments that was put forward stated that page 33 is void because on one of the pages, I don't remember which, it was stated... Mr. Casually, would you like to take the contract and find the page you were referring to? That would be delightful. So, of the 33 pages, I would like to specifically detail page 7 and 8, to which are clause reading, the contract will be read by both parties and no changes will be made until both read and agreed upon the changes, and then to accept yada yada yada. You specifically stated that this clause makes void page 33 or the clause on it. That is completely correct, right? That mm -hmm. was your argument? Okay. Correct. So I would like to outline that while ambiguous, uh, the clause is completely valid and nowhere on it does it state the conditions thus far stated. It only says read and agreed. It can be reasonably accepted that it references all of the book, not only the page eight and before. Mr. Blaze, yes. do you have anyone you would like to call up to the stage? Go. It's stated in the contract that it, it is actually uh, there's a least pickaxe, but I, I think it's really immoral to scam. Uh, uh, it's it's kind of like a scam to put something that contradicts the entire contract. Uh, everything that was stated in the contract was contradicted by the last page. It's like saying, yeah, I won't kill you, but then a couple minutes later you kill someone. Like I, I like, like I saw this thing, it, was a, it wasn't a war where someone surrendered, but they still killed them. I think this is really immoral and it should be justified that Cash scammed Blaze out of his pickaxe. But it, it does legally own it, I, I think. Mm, agreed. Okay, court? Goat, you may leave. May I address the court? Yes, you may. Particularly, there was one very specific part that just happened, and that was just said. Goat yes. specified that he thinks that I legally own the pickaxe, and Blaze just said that he agrees. Court dismissed. I, I, I need to object. There were other things that I had to say as well. May First, I may I hear out Blaze's objection? So, yes, potentially, via what is said in the book, it is owned by him legally now, but his attempt to have the pickaxe was a scam and was not very moral at all and 
was very, very unjustified and was not obtained. He did not obtain the pickaxe in a very legal manner. Generally, using such a form of scamming is not very professional or legal in any scenario. I would like to address the court. You may. So, particularly with right. the testimonial from Ghost, he specifically went on about how it is immoral. Uh, I believe that this is irrelevant as this is a court of law, not a court of morals. Secondarily, uh, he also compared me taking a pickaxe to war crimes, uh, which I also believe is yes, slander. Yes, I had picked up upon that as well. And I believe that was quite slanderous. His final argument, and Blazers as well in this scenario, was that it was a scam. And scams? I don't believe this one falls under such a category. In this scenario, he had full information to understand what my intentions were. He could have read everything and had the opportunity to, and nothing was hidden. He even had the opportunity to change the terms as he wished, to which he did not. So I would like to compare this to how a scam normally works. In a scam, the intention is to mislead, which to some extent it could be argued that I did, but I also provided all of the information that would make them mislead leading clear. Furthermore, Your Honor, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Would you like to call anyone up to the stage? Not at this time. Do you have anything Blaise, else to say? do you have anything you would like to say? Okay, potentially, if the outcome of this case does result in casually permanently owning the pickaxe that was originally intended to be temporarily loaned to him, perhaps some of his actions could be at least moderately reconciled by the creation of a another pickaxe somewhat equivalent to what was given to him. Anything else? Can I just clarify some things that were said? So, if I understand correctly, you're saying that if I win the case, I have to give you another pickaxe. <laughs> so if I win the case and it goes in my favor, I still have to give you a pickaxe. <laughs> yeah, there's not one quite as good. Blaze, may I ask? Your Honor, is this Where what in this happened? contract did it ever mention that another pickaxe must be given as compensation? Nowhere, nowhere. Your Honor, may I continue? Yes, you may. In the contract, it specifically states the pitfalls of breach of contract. It specifically states what will happen if the pickaxe is not returned, if the pickaxe is damaged beyond a reasonable amount. And nowhere in there does it say, if I win the court case and the pickaxe is mine, uh, I will have to make you a new pickaxe. I have an objection. <laughs> I believe that's reasonable. You may object. Um, I hereby submit to the court and leave casually as the winner. Yay! Okay, my decision has been made. I think some terms should be outlined prior to continuing. And mm. this would be a great scenario to use the book in. So, before Your you Honor. continue casually, Mr. Hyperion Blaze, do you plead guilty? Indeed I do. Now may I ask, now that you have pled guilty, what are you guilty of? No. Technically nothing, I was just attempting objection, to object Objection, objection, objection. But you just told me you were back. guilty. What well, are you guilty I'm of? Guilty, I'm now very yes. curious. There's no other, there's no other term to use. Is there in court? Because okay, we, casually. You said you would wish to outline some of them. Strictly, strictly <laughs> speaking, I cannot be declared guilty, but as everything stated in the book is unobjectable, um, there is nothing I can do to plead my case any further as all attendees have found that everything stated in the book is as is written and nothing I attempt to do can lead me to obtaining the pickaxe once more. Now, Mr. Blaze. Yes. Mr. X Casually has requested that he outline some terms. Mm, yes. Do you accept follow through. to allow him to speak his terms? I do. Okay, so I assume that I have the floor now, Your Honor. First of all, I'd request that we set it back to day. Yes, I shall attempt to get out my seat and sleep in what is known as a bed. I would like to report harassment. You would like to report harassment? Report harassment. <laughs> Mr. Casually, where are you? I'm um, currently being murdered by a spider. Hold on. <laughs> it appears, it appears subject B has been murdered. I hereby declare that I win. <laughs> bring the spider <laughs> to trial. I am unable to bring the spider to trial as it appears that that spider was under the influence of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and as such, they cannot be held accountable for their actions. <laughs> Mr. Thank Casually, oh, I, I may ask you, has an individual known as Creamers contacted you? By what method? Through Discord. As of a few seconds ago, yes. Okay, you may do as you wish with that contact. Uh, I don't understand it. Oh, may yeah. I transcribe it? I, yes, is this he has been harassing me. Alright, so the transcription is as follows. 
Call me. Ford. Ooga booga. Bunga 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 bunga. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Mr. Casually, would you like to call forward Unga Bunga 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 Bunga? <laughs> <laughs> now that the court has concluded, yes. there are some terms that need to be outlined. Well, the court has not been concluded by the judge yet. Yes, it has. It was acknowledged. Okay, Casually, you, lost. you said you were going to outline some terms. Yes, outline the terms. Now that the discussion of the case has concluded, I apologise. I misspoke. Mm. You misspoke. Okay. No worries. So, are both parties in agreement that this court is to a close? Yep. Yes. Indeed. Very well. Okay. I have concluded in favour of the defendant ex casually. I would like to outline terms and have them approved. It's a bit too late. I just asked you if you can outline terms and you said no. No, yeah. I said I said that I misspoke and, and then I would cancelled. like to continue. No. I believe no, there is reason. Sorry. No. Yep, the court has been cancelled. You've doomed All me. All chairs must be removed from the auditorium immediately. You've doomed me. <laughs> Wait. Um, bro, I still have unsettled business with you. We need to settle some terms about the case. Because I have That's concerns. Oh, you have concerns. I do. What might your concerns involve? Your terms may not be permitted. I believe however, they're reasonable. Discussed, but not permitted. Do you believe that with no, this ruling incorrect. you are not allowed to abuse me or manipulate me in any way that is deemed reasonable by a court of law to reobtain the pickaxe? Nope. Why? Because. I'll be seeing you in court again. Good Actually. day. Yeah, yeah. I got a bustin', bustin', bustin'.